Yeah, yeah. Go and play that. Take you down, I'ma say that. Money, me a couple dollars. Telling you now, this payback. Huh, so I swear take that. Ask them now, we'll say that. I've been going to the top and I got what they not, so I know that they hate that. Uh, but I'm on now. Oh, right, you guys. What is going on? Welcome to Melbourne and welcome to the top 30 of the 2019 NFL's best players. It's Eddie Jackson. He's a free safety, which means he's running around, he's, he's, he's scanning the field. He's probably on his own in the backfield, looking for whatever's going to happen, reacting to what, the play, what, what, what play happens, what play's called, what audible's called. You know, whether the running back gets it, whether it's passing play, he's always reacting as a free safety. He's kind of like a fullback in the game of rugby. And I played fullback. It's not an easy position. You're usually the last line of defense. But in rugby, see, you play offense and defense. So that's only defense. Once the team gets the ball back as a fullback, you play pretty much like a running back. And that's why I love it. So anyways, let's get into it, guys. Eddie Jackson. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Uh, on his list, we need to talk to somebody. I like that guy. Uh, he's a great player. I really liked him in Alabama. And, uh, you know, he's showing uh, that he can play in this league and be one of the best. We watch film on him. He's always uh, around the ball. Physical guy. Comes in, definitely lays the wood on the running backs, tight ends. Randall Cobbs. Sacks, TFLs. Woo! He cited that up the second and left. TFL is a tackle for loss. Is that right? The quarterback's hand. Great job, great angle, Eddie Jackson. We talked about instincts. Well, that receiver was never going to get the ball. He's only jogging. He cited that up the second and left the quarterback's hand. Great job, great angle. Oh, no, he tripped. He tripped, otherwise he probably would have been about two, three more yards down the field. Oh, get that! He's got some guts, all right. And this fully reminds me of being like out in the back line, maybe a centre or a wing, one of the last two in the line of of defence in a rugby team. Okay, the, the attacking team is coming towards you. They're passing the ball throughout the team, maybe left to right or right to left, and as they're passing it and coming towards you at pace, you have an opportunity to either try and jump forward and try and catch one of those passes in the middle of it, with the risk of obviously missing it, and then you know the defense has one less player to use, um, and the offense will have a mismatch, but it's a risk that you're willing to take, and if you've got good awareness, you sometimes get that interception, and then you're gone, right? Eddie Jackson would be fantastic at that. All safeties would be fantastic at that. Making that last minute decision whether to go for the ball or stay in the line. But rugby is very, very unique in the fact that it's not offense and it's not defense. It's everything. You do everything on the field. Until Last now. Interception, people still wore chastity belts. See, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. A pick six to the house on the burst is just stunning to watch. Man. 
amazing. Block. Yeah. What a run. See now, it has literally taken me like nearly a year of watching this sport for me to have my first thought when someone gets the ball and starts running down the field of, okay, where's the blockers? Before, as a rugby player, you don't use blockers, right? So I'm just thinking, beat this man, beat this man, beat this man, and I'm not really looking at my other players to use them. It's taken me this long, you know what I mean? This long. It's been a very interesting journey, guys, we're not finished. All right. Uh, I do just want to see uh, his stats. I want to see how many touchdowns he got. Eddie Jackson, American footballer. Ah, okay. I was going to say, <laughs> he wasn't born in 1980, was he? It means he's nearly 40. No, he was born in 1993. No, 1992. Six foot, 200 pounds, 202 pounds. He went in the fourth round of the 2017 draft. Really? He made the Pro Bowl and the first team All Pro last year in his second season. And he doesn't have any measurables. But in his first season, he played 16 games, 70 combined tackles, 53 of which were solo. He had two interceptions for 82 yards at an average of 41 yards per carry and one touchdown. Last year, 14 games, 51 combined tackles, with 41 being solo. He had one sack. He had 15 pass deflections, 6 interceptions for 81 yards, for an, with an average of 13.5 yards per carry. Uh, two touchdowns. And two forced fumbles. And one fumble recovery. <laughs> Fuck it up. I gotta get these. I gotta get these letters down, man. Gotta get these letters down. Four-star cornerback Eddie Jackson commits to Alabama. When was this written, guys? Let's go back in history. Back to 2014. Alabama picked up its 22nd commitment of the 2013 recruiting class on Wednesday morning as Fort Lauderdale's defensive back Eddie Jackson announced his commitment to the Crimson Tide through his high school football team's official Twitter account. Jackson, who was rated a four-star prospect by ESPN and 24-7 Sports, chose the Tide over LSU. It's great going back in history, isn't it, guys? Amazing. All right, next on the list, George Kittle. Tight end for the 49ers. And after that, we've got Fletcher Cox. And after that, we've got Jalen Ramsey. Fantastic. See you soon, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. I'm just having fun at this point. I hope you guys are too. I will see you shortly. Peace out.